Hey, what's up guys, Second Cooper here back and give us some more FTB Infinity Expert solo. Oh yeah, so we left off, I tried uh, tried to prepare a bit more for the Ritual Binding, which is set up right over there. Now, between episodes, I got everything I need to get the Ritual up and running. So I have a Lava Crystal. Uh, thank you for giving me my buckets back. I needed those a bit. So now I can put this Lava Crystal in here, which I filled with 10,000 life points. And we'll be good to go to, uh, we'll be good to go to create the bound sword or the bound blade. Give me just a second. I think I forgot something. Alrighty. So, uh, that's good to go. Now, I mean, this takes a while to, this takes a while to infuse or not. Hmm. I guess not. I need to bind this to myself so that way I can, uh, that way I can do stuff. So now I can activate the, uh, now I can activate the binding ritual. So activation and careful. Huh. Ouch. Ow. Oh God. I'm going to get killed. Take it. To oh. oh. Crap. Oh. Where's my, oh, there's the blade. Okay. Well, there goes 30 levels of experience. Awesome. Alrighty, and I, and I have Soul Fray. Cool. Cool, exactly what I needed right now. Soul Fray. Alrighty. I think these are good. I'm not sure why this sorting doesn't work when I'm, uh, when I'm looking at my bobble menu, but whatever. Did I really have this much stuff on me? I guess I did. Hmm. Weird. Uh, anyway, so I have the bound blade, but uh, I do not want to activate this yet because I have like, I don't even know how much I have in here. 4,600 life points. So I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need more. Give me the Magician's Blood Orb. I'm going to need, I'm definitely going to need more blood in my, in my network so that way I can you know, do more stuff. All right. Well, so I'll only active. I'll only activate. I'll only activate my bound blade when it's necessary. Or when it's a. Uh, when it's safe. So yeah. Yeah. Only activate it when it's safe to activate it. So I need. Uh, I need blood shards though. Let's see. So um. I need the. I need the large bloodstone bricks, which I can get by infusing four ritual stones with a weak blood shard. Oh, perfect. I mean, I mean, I guess I do, I guess I do have a bit of, uh, I guess I do have some ritual stones in here or some reinforced slates. So that shouldn't be too bad. Just need to, just need to get a few buckets of lava. Here we go. Uh, where's, oh, there it is. That'll work. All right, so I also have stuff in my inventory to get more stuff in the tech path. So I have a turning table, which is required to get handles for, uh, that's required to get handles for the uh, freaking uh, for the mining laser. So turning table. Turning table does not require power, which is, uh, it, requires, it requires kinetic energy, which you can get from a manual kinetic generator. So, just need to put the turning blank and the lathing tool in here. Uh, let's see, what's going on? Why isn't this working? Okay, come on. All right, so it was four. Okay, I think it was four, three, two, two, two. So, my God, man. Okay, okay, that's this isn't this isn't going as fast as I thought it would. Come on, man. Oh, this thing builds up my hunger, man. There we go. All right, so I got a I got a turning blank for a handle. Perfect. And I also made this off camera: the Logistics RF Power Provider. 
So I think this would be pretty handy in a logistics pipe system, so that way I can provide RF power to all the machines that I'm going to be watercrafting with. I mean, pretty much, pretty much thinking I will do, uh, pretty much thinking I will do power power providing through the uh, logistics pipe system. So, yeah. All right. Let's see. So I have the, so I have a handle. Um, I needed a mining laser for a thermia, for a uh, thermal centrifuge. So yeah. Oh, wait, I need two more for a pattern storage. Why does why does IC two like uh, why does IC two like the mining laser so much? Let's see, an advanced circuit. Nope. I just made that for no reason. Dang it! I can't believe I just made that for no reason. All right, well, that's a thing that I didn't know I, okay, well, maybe maybe one thing I can do today. Uh, let's see. So diamond transport pipe, glass and two diamonds, that's easy. So I wanted to get, I really need to get logistics pipes up and running. It's It's been on my to-do list for a long time. So let's do that. Right, one of the one of the more finicky things. I have to I have to right click I have to right click the blood altar with an empty hand. That's that's so finicky. Whoops, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's see, this should be fine. Now let's put the magician's blood orb back with this. I have the large bloodstone bricks that I need. Um, potatoes? Huh, that's weird. Potato, potato, where can I put, okay. Bones. Of course. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna take me a while to get, it's gonna take me a while to get the, uh, the blood altar up and running, so I might as well just, like, do something else today. Because, like, blood rune, blood runes take a long time to craft. I mean, you have to wait. You have to wait for so many slates. I mean, let's see. No, uh, blood rune. Yeah, you need. Yeah, you need to wait for. Uh, you need to wait for twice. Uh, you need to wait for like. Wait, hold on. What was the tier four structure? I can't remember what the tier four structure was. Twenty-eight more runes. Okay, seven on each side. Yeah, so I need fifty-six. I need fifty-six blank slates. 14, uh, like 14 flint to infuse in the blood altar or in the, uh, in the mana pool. And then I need 14, uh, 14 of any shard, which, uh, I mean, shards kind of iffy on those kind of iffy. Like, uh, we're almost out of fire shards. And it seems like I need fire shards the most. Thomic aspect sync module. Huh? That's no, I don't remember seeing that. Eh, whatever. But yeah, I do need. I do seem to need. Into, I do seem to need fire shards for, for a lot. One focus of fire. Hmm. Blaze quartz. Hmm. Well, okay. Hmm. That's simple. <laughs> Alrighty. So, I think. I think plan today. I think the plan today is uh, pretty clear. I need. I need to get a storage system up and running. Like, <laughs> let's see. So I'm gonna need cobblestone transport pipes. Um. Okay. Cobblestone transport and diamond transport. Luckily, I went mining off camera and got I uh, got a lot of diamonds. So yeah, diamond transport, cobblestone transport. Let's see. Uh, wait, basic logistics pipe. Right, I need uh, I need some kind of hardened glass, uh, which is. So I'm gonna need lead. Uh, I'm gonna need lead, uh, lead ingots, or lead dust, and uh, and obsidian powder of some kind. There we go. We're done. Basic logistics pipes. Sixty-four of them. Perfect. That will give me a good head start. So, so basic logistics pipes are uh, they. So basic logistics pipes are required at every junction in the uh, in the system. So. 
every time you every time you have a every time you have a turn you need or every time you have a junction like a t junction or like a cross junction you need to you need to have a basic logistics pipe if you don't, if you don't then uh th then things might get routed the wrong way but uh i mean that's that, i mean it's not terrible but uh, it gets kind of annoying sometimes so let's see what can i do I mean, like I said, like I said, I think I think the I think the wood to iron I think the wood to iron chest upgrade would uh, would help really uh, would really help here. Hmm. Or you know I could just take or you know I could just take a bunch of iron and uh, and press it uh, press it into plates. Uh, hold on, plate cast. Uh, hold on, uh, press. Mold for plates needs any uh, needs any plates with four steel plates. Then I can use this to make. Uh, then I can use this to make plates over uh, over here. Perfect. Hold on. It says iron will turn into the IE iron plate or the IC2 iron plate. That doesn't make sense. Huh. Strange. Whatever, whatever. I mean, I mean, the metal former, the metal former can be upgraded. The metal press can't. But yeah. So let's see. What's my plan here? What's my? Oh right, uh, right. Let's see. So iron chest, iron chest. Let's see. Yeah. So that requires a chest and eight iron. I have two chests right here, which I can upgrade pretty quickly. So, eight ore, please, and let's, let's process some iron. Got some modules that used about thirty of my redstone. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna need to get more redstone off camera. Fun, fun. So module, so modules, uh, item sink. Item sink are um, pretty good. I need cactus green, iron chipset, and a blank module. So iron chipset, no problem. It's just one redstone, one iron, in the uh, in the assembly table. Okay, I'm getting my power back pretty rapidly, so that's pretty good. Let's see, is this done? It is. All right, perfect. Two iron chests, perfect. So now, where is my matic? There it is. So now I can use iron chests in place of uh, in place of this row of crates, which only holds a like a single chest worth of storage. So for every for every crate I can get rid uh, I can get so for every crate I have for every crate that I break I can. Uh, for every ch uh, for every iron chest that I put down, I can break two of these crates. So yeah, that helps. That helps quite a bit. Let's see. You know, here's something. Maybe I should make a. Maybe I should make. You know, I should like use one of these. I should just like make another drawer for, uh, specifically for books. Let's see. Do I have a drawer? Uh, nope. I don't have a drawer. Let's see. Sawmill. That'll do. Any more? Any more wood? I should. I should just. I'll see. Wood. Here we go. All right. Let's make another drawer. Perfect. And let's use this drawer for books. Cause I have books like. I have so many books here. My God. And there's more. Uh, there's more in the villages. So there we go. Three hundred ten books. That is a lot of books, man. Holy crap. I mean, that clear. That cleared out a bit. Uh, that cleared out a bit of. Uh, that cleared out a bit of space. So let's see. Yeah. You know, I'm just. I'm just curious. Is there anything in here that I've completed? Or you currently died one time. Mm-hmm. Fire. I died from lightning. Wait, I died from lightning. 
<laughs> what? what? I died from lightning. Blood magic is deadly. All right, well, I mean, that's a, that's why, that's why whenever you're playing with blood magic, you need a, you need some, uh, you need some fire, uh, some sort of fire protection. How come I didn't make the pyroclass pendant? Yeah, how come I didn't make the pyroclass pendant? Let's see. Rune of Summer. Imbute Slate. Ugh. Gross. Well, that's just, that's just disgusting. So, let's see. Rune of Summer. Air, Earth. I have earth and air. I have both of them. Sand, some kind of slime ball, a melon, and an immune slate. So, 8,000 LP. Fun. Fun. You know, you know, pricking myself at the blood altar is so much fun. I love it. That is, that's one of the best things ever. Can you tell the sarcasm in my voice? So, I mean, sometimes blood magic. Sometimes blood magic is a pain. Like, I mean, standing at the blood altar. That's not fun. Doing rituals like that. That's pretty dang awesome. Speaking of rituals, maybe I should uh, let's take this down because I'm pretty sure I don't need the. Pretty sure I don't need the ritual binding for a while. Just get all my ritual stones back, and uh, let's just get all my ritual stones back so that I can use these for the. Uh, uh, we don't have to make too many more ritual stones for the uh, for the well of suffering. Here we go. Perfect. Now I can uh, now I can build these out. Uh, I can build out the well of suffering once I have uh, once I have the uh, the correct uh, once I have the correct thing and and more ritual stones. So yeah. Once I have the correct ritual diviner and more ritual stones, then I'll be able to get then I'll be able to get the uh, be able to get the well of suffering. So let's see. Okay. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe I can break. Let's break this and put down an iron chest so I can uh, I can put uh, put a bunch of garbage in here. Wait, is that my? Uh, that's my okay, I forgot to put my quest book away. That's that's a thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Whose bright idea was it to put the uh, put the uh, inventory tweaks things on the side here? Really? I mean, really? That's uh, not very practical. Let's see, that's a lot of dirt as well. Holy crap, man. Okay. So, uh, module. So I need item sync modules, which need iron. I mean, I'll see. So, pick these up, put this down, and let's see if I can migrate. A couple, uh, so we can get these, uh, get the contents of these out of here. Kind of wish, uh, kind of wish I could like, man, kind of wish I could like get uh, get all this stuff out of here pretty easily, you know? Like, I wish, I wish break. Eh, now I kind of wish like breaking this would. Uh, now I kind of wish breaking this thing would give me the give me the stuff back, or like uh, give me the stuff out of the crate. So yeah, this is empty. All right, and uh, kind of kind of thinking like item conduits would be, or kind of thinking like item ducts would be a good thing. Item duct needs tin plates, hardened glass, and glass. What about the what about the opaque ones? Oh, that's it. That's uh, that's a weak change. Uh, maybe it... I forgot I had this another redstone ore here. So let's see. Yeah, if I get some rich slag, how would I? Uh, do I have any rich slag? Use rich slag. I have no rich slag. But wait, regular smelting gives me two redstone ore, and then then pulverizing it gives me six. Smelting it with sand gives me a block. That's actually kind of good. And it also gives me a 50% chance for rich slag. So I think, yeah, I think I know what I'm gonna do to get some redstone. 
I'm going to get a guaranteed block of redstone and a, and a 50% chance of, of rich slag if I, I'll say. So 10 cobble. Pulverize it and smelt this. So, I mean, if only, uh, I mean, if only, like, if uh, if extra utilities was updated to 2.0 in 1.7, I could, like, if it also, if also, if the red orchid uh, wasn't disabled, I could use that to get and uh, to get unlimited redstone. Red or uh, red orchids like grow redstone if planted on redstone ore. So yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty dang useful in my. It's pretty dang useful in my book. But whatever. Let's see. So that's a that's a guaranteed block of redstone. Ooh, and we got some rich slag. Sweet. Hmm. Yeah. Now I'm kind of wondering how much redstone I get if I if I use my full fortune pick on this. Alrighty, charge that up. Let's try one. How much do I? How much do I get? Where'd it go? Seven. Hmm. Well then, I think I just wasted a bit of redstone ore. Whoops. Yeah, some sometimes it doesn't give me. But sometimes it doesn't give you as much as you think it'll uh, it'll give you. Uh, crap. Crap, man. All right. Well, uh, more redstone. Luckily. Alrighty. Now that we got. Oh wait. I put the chest. I had chests somewhere, didn't I? Didn't. Did I put the? Did I put those chests somewhere? No. I did. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking either, because like, uh, like I could fill this up all the way. There we go. I want to get the logistics. Did I get all the logistics stuff put it together? Uh, let's see, soldering station, power junction. Where's my RF power provider? Uh, we'll see. That's weird. What's it doing in here? I don't even know where it is. What? What? It says it's in here, but oh, here it is. Wow, that was disguised pretty well. That was disguised really well. Yeah, well played. Okay. Well played. Uh, well played, Iron Chests. Well played. Alrighty. Well then. Now we just now we just empty out. I uh, just empty out those crates and here we go. Here we go. Kind of. So we need this. Uh, might need my logistics stuff. And this is now empty. Perfect. It stacks because it has the same it has the same mpt tag which is pretty much empty. So, I'm uh, so I think I think all this random stuff is like I think that's enough for an episode like uh, started kind of on a logistics pipe system, got the got the bound blade, got some large bloodstone bricks. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna keep working on the logistics pipe system off camera. I will uh, get everything moved and uh, I'll get everything moved out of those crates and into iron chests off camera. And and also from the chests behind me, so yeah. All right, guys, that'll do it for this episode of FTP Infinity Expert Solo. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the ritual binding, dying, and kind of working on logistics pipe system. Stay tuned next time for, I'm hoping, we can get the portal to Alfheim open, but uh, that's that's just me being really, really hopeful. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Later.